cheaper microphones or expensive microphones? Is there even really a difference in the sound quality? Let's talk about it. What's up guys, Dagan07 back with another video, kind of a review video, kind of a comparison video. Um, but we're gonna talk about mics today in this budget streamer series video. Um, I have three mics with me. I have my main mic that I use, which is an Audio-Technica AT2020 uh, USB Plus mic. I actually have my son's Blue Yeti Snowball mic, um, the Snowball Ice to be more specific. And then I have my actual very first uh, condenser mic, which is this toner microphone that I bought for like $35 a couple years ago. Um, and it came with, the reason why I got it is it came with everything I need. Now, my son is begging me for his microphone back, so we're gonna go ahead and go through this one first. What you're seeing is the, like I said, it's the uh, blue microphone Snowball Ice mic. Uh, I believe when he purchased this, it was like $80, and I think we got it at like Target. These things are pretty common. Um, and they're kind of an industry standard. Uh, a lot of people just starting out, whether they're doing podcasting, whether they're doing YouTube videos, whether they're doing you know online streaming, you'll see a lot of people with this mic, and it's been a very, very reliable mic. They're you know very well made. It's actually pretty heavy. Um, this is the little stand that it usually comes with, a little tripod stand, and it has a little red light up here to let you know when the power's on and uh, it's USB powered on the back side and it's a uh, plug and play so with with blue being one of the most well-known brands and it has a really great sound so this is kind of a, a a really great choice now as of this video the blue microphone the, the blue snowball ice microphone right now is going for about $50 right now. It's on sale for $47.99. It's regular price is $59.99. And like I said, it's 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 really a really great deal. And it could be the only microphone that you'll ever need for both YouTube videos, kind of like what I'm doing here, and live streaming. So uh, if you're interested in picking one of these guys up, there's a link below in the description. I highly recommend that you pick one of these up. Um, you won't dis be disappointed, but we actually want to compare what it sounds like. So let me go ahead and get this guy hooked up and let's see what the comparison sounds like. So this is what the blue snowball microphone looks like. As you can see, it has a little red, di red light on um, showing that it's powered up and it's on. And I'm going to let you guys be the judge of how it sounds. Um, I have not made any adjustments. It's completely unfiltered. So the next mic that I'm going to show or review is actually the very first mic that I've ever, that I ever actually purchased. And that is uh, the Toner Pro Condenser Wireless, or the Toner Pro Condenser Microphone. And the reason why I went with this purchase is uh, when I purchased it back in the day, it was about $35 and it came with everything that I needed. It had a boom arm, a shock mount, a pop filter, the mic cover, a phantom power, and uh, it was the best cheap option uh, at the time. And one good thing is that you can do with this is you're able to use, um, get this off. It's actually an XL, XLR mic and what it comes with is an XLR to three and a half millimeter uh, adapter. So you can just plug it directly in or if you have a sound mixing board or something that accepts XLR input, uh, you can use it just as a regular XLR mic. Um, it has a polar pattern, meaning um, it, it's like a bi-directional pickup. So it picks up from the front here and from the back and on the sides, not so much. And uh, um, this was my main mic until uh, I was given this mic, which I'll review here in just a few minutes. Um, but this was a really, really great investment. I mean, it's super light. It feels really cheap, but the sound quality on it was good. And if you actually go back to one of my older videos, you'll actually be able to see it kind of like, you know, dangling over here with the blue and uh, this, you know, mic, mic pop thing here. And... Uh, like I said, it was a really, really great pickup. Now the price has gone up on it. Um, when I last looked on Amazon, it's about $50. And 
that's still a great pickup uh even for this mic the the audio quality quality on it's great and uh like i said with the with the uh snowball with the snowball you'll you're gonna hear this you know back back to back and you can kind of compare them as they go but uh let's go ahead and take a quick listen to this one right now purchase this mic without the without the phantom power but i would recommend getting the phantom power because the phantom power on its own is like 25 to 30 dollars and the mic on its own is like 40 dollars still so um, i still highly recommend getting the bundle um, even if you get an extra boom arm if you already have a boom arm and if you get an extra boom arm you can still use the boom arm right so or you can you know use it for something else you know get creative but And last but not least, we have the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus microphone. That's going to be this guy right here. And this one has a light as well. I'm going to take this little filter off. This one has a light as well, a really nice, cool-looking blue light to let you know that it's powered on and working. And then, like I said in, in the earlier part of the video, there is a microphone volume for the microphone jack that's back here where you can plug a microphone in and get zero delay and listen and then there's a monitor a uh, little slider right here as well this has been my microphone of choice for well over a year now i had a buddy actually give this to me um really good friend of mine and um i really really love the sound of this um, when he gave it to me, it was originally $240. Uh, it, they have actually dropped it down to about $150 right now. So it's at a much more affordable price. They have an XLR version of this mic that's a little bit more expensive, but but you get the same level of detail to this mic that uh, that the XLR version does. And uh, you might even, it might even sound a little bit better. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know the statistics between XLR versus USB, but all I can tell you is that this mic has been my go-to mic um, for, for about a year now, ever since I switched away from that toner mic. This mic does sit more on the professional end of the spectrum. Uh, Audio-Technica is a highly renowned um, audio company. And if you have the extra money to purchase this, I would definitely go with this as I believe the audio quality is better than both the toner mic and the uh, the snowball the uh blue the blue snowball um so if you have i mean we're talking about it's it's an extra hundred bucks um at the end of the day um so if you if you can spare it i i believe it's wholeheartedly worth it you can get you a really nice boom arm to go with it and like i said i believe the sound quality is great Blue Snowball. Test. One, two, three. This is the Blue Snowball. Test. One, two, three. How does it sound? Leave a comment down below if you like this one better. This is the toner mic. Test. One, two, three. The toner mic. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this mic. How does it sound in your opinion? This is the Audio-Technica mic, completely uncut and unfiltered. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Audio-Technica mic. If you think this mic sounds better, please leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts across all three. So there you go, there's three mics kind of back to back to back different price points two are relatively the same price point but they're two different build qualities if i had to start over and buy a brand new mic today i would probably go with the uh, blue snowball i don't think the at 2020 usb plus from audio technica is worth the hundred dollar upgrade 
I think the sound quality is a little bit better, but after you get through YouTube compression or Twitch compression or mixer, whatever, whatever platform that you, you might be streaming on or putting videos out on, I don't think it'd be worth it at the end of the day. So, um, that'd be my microphone of choice. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and what you're currently using. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to get notified whenever I put out a new video. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dagan07. You can also find me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Dagan07. And then in the description below, I also have a link to my Discord where I'm trying to build a community to, dis to discuss different things about streaming, about content creation, and help, help out wherever I can. So if you want to join that, feel free as well. I'll see you in the next video, and we'll see you later. Bye.